Hello guys, so I just wanted to show you a little package I've put together. It's about doing dynamic transitions, like you see in those zoom in transitions or swipe transitions into the next clip. And with the release of Vegas Pro 21, there are now adjustment events and this one, offset and wrap. So now you can do this right in Vegas without any add-ons. So you don't need uh, Sapphire with motion blur or any of those things. But it's a bit annoying to edit every single clip. So uh, I put together this little package using adjustment events. So first I'll show you how to use it and then I'll show you how to install it. Right? Uh, and keep in mind, this only works on Windows with uh, Vegas Pro 21. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. So here I have two clips, and right now it only swaps to the next one. But I want to have a more dynamic transition here. So I'll go ahead and add a video track and an adjustment event. Now... This is built for 60 frames per second, uh, so I use about 40, I think it's 13 uh, uh, frames for the first clip and then 13 for the second. So you'll have to count this manually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Let me try with 14, it might be 14 in the beginning, and then you'll have to do so it is just in the middle. Uh, so you can just use uh, this little thing as a guide to make sure it's equal on both sides. And now you add one of my filter packages, so if I want to zoom out, I go ahead and add this one. And it will add an animated offset and wrap, and a radial blur. So for the zoom transitions I use a radial blur, and for the swipe transitions I use a linear blur, just to get some motion blur. And now, if we step through this, you can see that it starts to go out fast and then slows down again. And that's how it looks now. So a bit more dynamic, and uh, the nice part is if you then have a second clip, let's say that uh, <laughs> there's another clip over here. You don't have to, to edit uh, these two clips with the a, with a video events. You can just paste this, make sure it's in the middle and you get another one. But if I want to change this, it's easy. I just... Add an effect, like how about we go up left, we pan up left, and we replace those two, okay. And now, this one will instead pan up to the left, into the next uh, scene. So you see that the blur is swapped out for a ra uh, linear blur now, and you get that instead. Now th these two clips of course don't match good for this, you want some movement in the clips to match the the swipe, but but you get the idea. So, uh, with this little tutorial done, I think I'll go ahead and show you how to install my package. Uh, because it seems like Vegas has changed the way you install filter packages. Alright, so when you have downloaded a file in the description, you will have this file, lecdynamictransitionpack.reg, and that's a registry file. Uh, because for some reason Vegas now saves uh, FX packages in the regedit. So open up regedit. Uh, if you search for regedit you'll find it. Uh, for me it's in Swedish but just remember this icon. Now uh, here it will look something like this for you. You open up hkey current user and software and here you'll try to find direct show this one open that up open presence up and here you have all your filter packages 
So right now I have them currently installed, but that doesn't matter. When you found this, make sure that you find the right one. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to mess around in this, uh, this regedit window because like all your settings for your computer is here. But anyway, once you found this, uh, go ahead and import uh, the the thing you the thing you downloaded, and then it will just uh, confirm that all the things are added, and that's it. The next time you start Vegas, you will have the files installed. So what's nice about this is also that it's completely free. I don't sell this package. Uh, you can just download it, and you don't need any plugins except for the standard program. Uh, it's not perfect, I know, and uh, like it should be nice to have a 24 frames per second uh, version as well, and maybe 30. But if you're doing 60 frames per second, that's what I usually edit in, go ahead and use this. And if you edit in any other frame rate, you can of course just change the keyframes in the animation uh, timeline. So if you enjoyed this package, please go ahead and like the video and uh, I'll wish you all happy editing. Bye!